It's that time of the week again. There's nothing better than looking through those mystery boxes. Who knows what will be found. We have found some awesome figures this weekend, guys. Probably the best haul yet. Stick around to the end of the video to see what has been found. How are we doing? Welcome back to another video with Demise Family, the home of all things geek. Ooh. Fellow collectors and toy hunters out there, thanks so much for tuning in. Welcome back to the channel. What is going on? Now, finally, in my hometown of York, guys, the Kabu is back on. I've been traveling around every weekend trying out other ones, but they just haven't been right. This one is on my doorstep. And it's finally back open. It's like one of the longest running ones and one of the last ones to open as well over lockdown. It's that time of the week again. There's nothing better than looking through those mystery boxes. Who knows what will be found. Now this car boot sale is more like antique dealers and like proper dealers. So there's not many stalls that are selling like your normal house clearance kind of stuff. They're actual proper sellers, so they do have some good stuff as well. This was found on one of the stalls as soon as I got in there. Alien vs Predator, the movie series. Uh, there's quite a few to collect in this one. The Celtic Predator... The Celt... Start again. The Celtic... Or Celtic? <sighs> the Celtic Predator throwing the alien is literally picked him up and he's throwing him what an awesome find guys it's in in the box as well now this is in like a ballista pack and it is indestructible it is rock solid you could literally hit this and it still holds its shape now I don't mind because I'm probably gonna open this and I got it at a good price because it's sun damaged as you can see quite sun damaged but the figure itself well, the figures itself it looks so much better out of box just because of what they're doing like he's just holding the alien and throwing it launching it through the air on the back we'll have a quick look at the back guys you can see other ones in the series to collect alien vs predator play sets zooks zubus so, don't know what that is oh that one's amazing so we've got alien attacks the alien picking up the predator there in a little nice scene the one that we've got Celtic Predator on the stand throwing the alien then another scene where you've got the Queen alien versus Predator as well and underneath that one another scene where you've also got the birth of the hybrid Predator that just looks awesome what a find already off to a great start let's carry on going now you guys will already know that I love vintage WWF wrestling it's my passion it's what I bought when I was a kid loved vintage wrestling so these two finds I was so happy with if you want to watch previous videos of the demise family toy hunting series you can check them out just up here are you ready guys oh yes we have got a vintage 1991 Hulk Hogan and a vintage Ultimate Warrior from 1991 as well from the vintage Hasbro series I keep saying vintage over and over again <laughs> Hasbro's the old-school golden era series the best one in my personal opinion so let's start with Hogan this figure of Hogan was the first release as well in the Hasbro series he's got his yellow pants on the classic yellow pants and the red bandana and the epic Hogan mustache it's got the pullback arm function that's his action and it also works too Hoo -ah. so kind of like the punching hulk let's call it punching hulk and then the ultimate warrior was also found in a box on the same stall as well in the classic white orange and green trunks and look at his face and his makeup that's just great with his teeth ah, like that oh, awesome it's the body slam version so he can 
You can, as you can see, you can pick them up like that, slam them down, pick the Hulk up like this, boom! Body slam him down. Awesome. They just don't make figures like this anymore, and this is just nostalgia for me. It just brings brings back some amazing memories playing with these and collecting these when I was a kid. Uh, and also, it brings back memories of SummerSlam 1991. Let's put them down here. Still onto wrestling figures, guys. There's even more. We're going further afield now. We're going into the future as we delve into the Attitude Era. Yes! X Pac! X Pac from the Attitude Era. One of my favorite wrestlers from that era as well. I loved X Pac. It's from the Jack series, as you can tell, completely different style figures to the Hasbro ones. But there he is in his classic outfit, his bandana, his shades, because he always wore those as well. X Pac! Awesome. Stand him down there with the wrestling figures. Look at the size difference between the newer ones and the old ones. Definitely a size difference between them. Now I've seen these on the internet and in the boxes. I've not bought any yet. So to find these, I was really pleased because here's a little hint guys. I love zombies. I love wrestling. It's wrestling zombies. Are you ready? Ready? Three, two, one. Oh yes. Look. I look zombies and wrestling combined zombie wrestling figures your favorite superstars as zombies what more could you ask for these are awesome we'll start with this one couldn't believe it when I found them so we've got the zombie triple H there he just looks awesome he's green he's got no face anymore whatsoever uh, his skull is there his necks like completely exposed it doesn't even have a bottom it doesn't even have a bottom jaw anymore that is just awesome. His leg is like all ripped up and exposed. <sighs> Let's put it down. That is a great figure. So next up in the series that we found was a zombie Roman Reigns. Another great little figure. The side of his head you can see there is completely exposed. You can see his brain. So that's really cool. Uh, his tattoos have gone like some crazy green monkey colour. Yeah, the green tattoos. That's the only bit that is like zombified. The uh, the wound on his head. He's got like dead man eyes as well, a little bit like the Undertaker. So we'll stand him up there. And this other find in the series, guys, was a zombie Dean Ambrose figure. So that's another cool one. Looks a lot like his wrestling character there as well. He looks awesome as a zombie. He's got a bit on his face exposed. It's really dirty got a scratch on the side he's all scratched up on his shirt as well and a big gash in his arm and at the back as well I mean zombies and wrestling I said it before fantastic got a bit of a zombie horde going on down there now okay moving on again we've got a few more wrestling finds definitely something in the air of this one guys this car boot sale was awesome couldn't believe the finds I was getting and it was on my doorstep in my hometown of York Nothing can get better than this. Also for the first time we did a little bit of filming at the car boot so you can actually see the part where I'm rooting around in the box to find these guys. And I couldn't believe them when I saw it because this is a really good find. This is a free pack. So they had all three figures. Normally you get these in the classic legends, WWE, WWF legends classic series. It's Nobs, Sax, and Jimmy Hart, the Nasty Boys. Time to get nasty! Yes. Awesome. I loved the Nasty Boys. Obviously, these are a re release because the originals were Hasbro as well. So, this is much further down the line. The Nasty Boys. The nasty Boys. Let's have a quick look at them. So, Nobs and Sax, the Nasty Boys, in their classic shirts. So these are the deluxe figures as well, so the, the face sculpts are just great, they look so much like the wrestlers that they did back there. The hair is amazing on both of them, hair's cut literally all the way up and they've got like the mullets at the back. Sadly, he's missing his jacket, but to find Jimmy Hart as well with them is just amazing. Even the Jimmy Hart figure, he's got his jacket on, the Nasty Boys jacket as you can see there. His shirts 
his shirt's great the face sculpt's brilliant he looks exactly like Jimmy Hart like like he did back then sadly he's missing his microphone you know the big shouty microphone that he had but to find these together in one box I found one of them and found the other and I was like no way there's not going to be all free and there was all free just amazing absolutely amazing for these to go in my collection now that is the end of the wrestling figures haul it's quite a lot but I am so chuffed so impressed with that please let me know guys what you think of this mini wrestling figure haul that we've got there some amazing key characters and we've even found some of the zombie series as well mixed with the attitude era classic wrestling mixed with the new the new style figure that they brought out amazing are you ready guys this is another great find it's the 2008 Grey Hulk from the Incredible Hulk, Hulk movie Marvel Legends figure it's Grey Hulk look at the quality of this he's just so beefed up and beefcake his muscles are popping his veins are popping out he's grey he looks quite like dead as well like obviously he's Hulk so he's angry but his face his, his, his face looks really really cross there so I don't have a Grey Hulk in my collection and to find one at the car boot is just amazing what a find it's a 2010 variant blue venom whipping venom look at that made by Hasbro as well so he's got his venom whips Venom Whips. Venom Whips, cool. Uh, his tongue's still intact, which is good, because these figures, people for some reason or, like to pull the tongues off. In the previous video, we found a really good Venom figure who was missing a tongue. So this is the blue variant. The standard one was black, uh, just as good. Obviously, if you're a big collector, you need to get the blue version and the black version. So there we have a blue Venom. Venom's gonna, Venom stuff. Stop saying Venom! Venom stuff is getting huge right now. The movie was so good and the new movie Venom 2 will be out soon. Hopefully we'll see more, even more merch come out for that one. Who does not like Venom? What a character. Now, whilst we're on the subject, I've seen pictures of this one online before. Saw it on someone's stall, I got it at a really good price. I have bought a few comics and a few of the bits from them as well. They were a proper dealer, so they knew what they had. But like I said, got it as a bundle, so I got them down a bit as well. It's another Venom figure, but this one, just look at it. It is terrifying. It's Venom transforming, Marvel Legends series again, transform transforming Venom. And it's a 2001 release. So let's take a closer look. As you can see, he's not completely there yet. The suit's still transforming into him. But look at the head and the face. That that head is just terrifying. And the tongue is like... Looks like it's melting together. It's just so good, the detail. The teeth. The teeth it just looks so painful. The way the teeth are popping out as well. And it came with this stand. I don't think, to be honest, this is the correct stand. Because it's carnage. <laughs> Completely different figure. But I'm not complaining because it does need a stand. It's very heavy. What a find. So good. Could not believe it when I saw it. There we are, guys. Transforming Venom. Terrifying. Terrifyingly good. It's a mystery mini Game of Thrones Red Witch. This was just by itself in a random box rooting through. Couldn't pass it off. Love Game of Thrones. I do have a little collection up there, so that will sit nicely on my shelf. In fact, I'm going to put that up there now. There we go. The Red Witch sat next to, well, stood next to the Night King on the throne, where he should be. Moving on, guys. Now on to Star Wars. Uh, there was a few bits, but it was just so expensive. Some of the figures that I found were beautiful, but just too expensive. So we've got a vintage Attack driver from the 1980s, that one. I'll put him down there, or 8080, whatever you want to call it. 
the driver from there and uh, more of a newer release this one I loved collecting stormtroopers it's a shock trooper this one put him down there in front of Hulk shock troopers really nice sadly he's missing his blasters his two blasters that come with him so it's the Kenner version as well but all in all a good figure go with the go with the collection now these are a pain to stand up yep knew he was gonna do that who cares on to loose Funko Pops found a few of those as well it's Jake from Adventure Time I know he's loose but I don't care because I like loose pops some people hate the fact that people take him out of the box but they're made to be taken out of the box that's how you can display them guys love it or hate it if you are a lover or a hater please leave a comment below that was a nice little find that'll go with the pop collection because that's the only Adventure Time figure I have so I'm gonna get more <laughs> Star Wars Jabba the Hutt I collect Star Wars pops or anything Star Wars I haven't got this one in my collection and it's terrible I don't know what you guys think of it let's go in for a closer look I had to buy this it's terribly good it's so bad it's good let's get it right um, for Jabba the Hutt what <laughs> there we are he's good in even the size isn't right he's not long enough the tails too short the heads pretty good he's licking wobbly bobbly head because he's a Star Wars Funko Pop but there we go he'll, he'll definitely go with the collection let's say love Jabba the Hutt that figure though particularly I'm a bit unsure about it's Sabretooth Logan's best enemy let's say or his worst enemy always fighting him in the X-Men series and the movies I haven't got a Sabre 2 figure so that will go nicely it's from the Marvel Legends Infinite series as well sadly he is missing the backdrop because all this series of figures do have a little backdrop that comes with them as well but like I said I haven't got a Sabre 2 figure so it was nice to find that and he will go nicely in the Marvel collection on to Power Rangers now guys oh yes it's a 2000 release the Megazord Power Rangers from the Time Force series now when I saw this I picked it up straight away because I thought it was a lot older it my my I, I, you can read that it's Bandai on the back of it and I thought that it was a much older figure like pre Power Rangers when Bandai made a lot of this style figure but it is good it's pretty solid the legs don't move the arms move the head moves a little bit I've got a lot of vintage Power Rangers stuff so that will go nicely in the connection as well shiny who, who can pass off a Megazord I mean come on and last but not least Optimus Prime Transformer fully transforming as well it's quite a recent one you can tell just by the look of the figure as well well I say recent it's not vintage but it's still still good I'll have to try and see what what year that one was actually released but it's fully transforming one of the good ones there's so many points of articulation I, I could transform him back into the truck but I'll probably be here all day so I'll just keep him like that but he's fully intact everything's there on the back and stuff as well awesome little find and another one as well this one I don't know I don't know who this one actually is guys so if you do know please let me know it'd be it probably would be helpful if I had him the right way around as well there we go green red green and green and red don't know who he is so if you do know please let me know guys in the comment section below and that's everyone what do you think of this weekend's toy haul my favorite so far guys what a awesome toy haul so good the figures it was in our backyard as well well not backyard but literally down the road for me so I'm so chuffed with this weekend's haul really good really good we're so close to 100 subscribers now it's just it's, it's growing it's getting bigger the channel's getting bigger which is awesome if you are subscribed to demise family YouTube channel thank you so much and if you are new to the channel 
Why not check out previous videos as well, previous toy haul videos, we unbox things, we attend comic cons, we do toy reviews, comic book reviews, gaming, it's the home of all things geek. Join us on our epic adventure guys, it's very easy, all you need to do is smash the subscribe button, remember to turn notifications on, and never miss a future video. So for me, Dambo Demise, be awesome, be geeky, be excellent to each other, I'll see you soon.